YTBC, what's the deal? So tonight is fight night. Andre Ward versus Sullivan Barrera. I've just been on the internet scrolling around, looking at different people's opinions, different websites, different members of the YTBC. I've already done my prediction on this fight. Um, so I'm just breaking down this fight as far as, you know, what if Andre Ward loses? What are some of the things that Barrera can do to turn the upset? Um, looking at it, you know, Barrera hasn't been past the eighth round. You know, and to me, we're kind of asking a lot from this guy to go in there with uh, Ward and try to knock him out or get him out of there early. Now, anything can happen in boxing, and I'm a big believer in that. So I wouldn't be totally surprised if, you know, Barrera was, happens to find a way to get the knockout win in this fight. Um, I actually heard Abel Sanchez on the on the ropes boxing radio show. He goes on and says, I'm going to read this quote. He says, I think at this point, size is a big plus for us. Sullivan is a guy that works to get down to 175. He's a big, light heavyweight. Andre is a super middleweight that has fought at a higher weight, but is a super middleweight. I think that will be an advantage. We have to use that in the fight. We have to muscle him. We have to make sure that we rough him up. It's a 12 round fight. So who knows what could happen in 12 rounds? All right. He also goes on to say, I think we have a great shot at Andre. Andre hasn't fought in a while. His opposition has been very limited. He had some injuries and some operations. So all of that is a bunch of pluses for us. We're very aware of the fact that we're fighting one of the best fighters in the world, but we're going to give it everything we got and hopefully that night Sullivan that I thought that we had shows up on fight night and upsets one of the best boxers in the world. All right. Um, I don't know, man, going in there trying to rough Andre Ward up. I think that may be playing right into his hands. You know, sometimes when guys have a size advantage, I know uh, Barrera has fought a cruiserweight before too, but sometimes when guys go into fights with smaller guys, they try to go rough the smaller guy up. But once they figure out that, man, I can't catch up to this guy, his footwork is throwing me off, I need him to be still so I can land, but the guy won't stay still. Or you get in there with a guy where you think you're going to rough him up, and then he surprises you by being a lot stronger than what you thought. He's able to hit you a lot cleaner than you thought you'd be able to get hit. And and sometimes you see a guy going there with a guy that's lost smaller than him, he gets hit, and he's the one that's affected by that guy's power than vice versa, you know, because he thought he was going there and rough a guy up. He gets turned, you know, the world gets turned upside down on him and he doesn't know what to do. So if Barrera does try to implement this whole, I'm going there, walk him down, I'm the big guy. And if it doesn't happen like that, to me, he's going to be, you know, in a twilight zone, man. I, I don't know what he's going to do to me. Like I've said in my prediction video, his defense isn't of that of other Cuban fighters that I've seen, guys like uh, Regan Dow and Ortiz, um, to me, in my opinion, his style, his defense isn't, his defense and his footwork isn't like your prototypical Cuban fighter. In my opinion, from my observation, you may have a different opinion, that's fine, but from my observation, it's not like that. You know, um, I wonder how is he going to deal with the jab? How is he going to deal with... Uh, Ward, because Ward's going to be patient. I think he'll be a little bit patient. So I'm, I'm curious to see if Barrera's going to come straight out, guns blazing, trying to just overpower Ward and treat him like, hey, you're a super middleweight. I'm really a lightweight, light heavyweight slash cruiserweight. You know, this game plan that he's trying to implement going in there and, uh, you know, treating Ward like he's a smaller guy, it might work, but I think it might backfire. And if it does backfire, what is going to be his plan B? Ward, in my opinion, can fight on the inside. He can move around the ring. He knows his terrain around the ring. Um, good end fighter. He, he can box from the outside. To me, he has a little bit more in the toolbox than Barrera. Now, Barrera has showed uh, different facets of, facets of his game, but it, to me, against the lesser opposition. So I'm just going over this, man. It's fight night. I got, you know, a lot of things going through my head right now as far as this fight. But I got Ward still winning the fight. But if Ward happens to lose, where does he go from here? Uh, does he stay at light heavyweight? Does he try to get a rematch? Where does he go? Just, you know, some thoughts about this fight. YTBC, I'm out.